the experiment. So first off, we're gonna, the experiment is rice in a bottle. And you might just think it's just rice in a bottle, but no, you actually need a pencil and rice in the bottle. The rice should be filled into the top, but it should, be, but it should not be overflowing. It should be close to the top. And when you think it's um, full, then you wanna slam it. all the um, air spaces compact so then there'll be no air spaces here so this looks good um, I think about here so after you want to do some you want to take the tip or actually no any side you want let's do some three, three dippies after some two dippies you can just Press it all the way down, and with the friction, it'll be harder to press it down. But don't try to spill it. Oh, oh, this is a very easy experiment you can do in your phone. And to put the rice in the bottle and have rice as your adults first. So I have the pencil in the rice. So, and after that, you can just. Make sure you use a few down dippies too. And you also need a very long pencil. You don't want a really short pencil, then it'll just get lost in the pencil. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna take some time to do some dips. And if it does not, you press it. Yeah, and if it does not work, I'm gonna put more rice in. See, as you can see, my thing is almost in the almost in the thing. And as you can see, I think I'm good because I did a lot of dipping. And as you can see, it's almost about to be in the bottle, like the entire pencil. See? And then, and then if, you, if you're really sure, you wanna have it on the table and then you wanna lift it up. And then if, you, you might, sometimes you might only lift the pencil up, but sometimes you might, you actually might, as you can see, I'm holding it from the pencil. And it's floating. I am not even, this is not magic or something. I'm, I am actually doing the thing. This is a really easy experiment to do. And because of friction, the pencil and the um, rice are pressed hard together. That's why the pencil is really hard to come out and to put in. That's why you can lift the bottle. Up. Now for our second experiment which is actually book friction. Let's put these aside. Now, let's do book friction. So you can take any books um, you want. They can be any size you want to. I personally don't care. Uh, but, but, but I've taken these two books. And I'm just um, gonna... So what I wanna do first is put one book on top of each other like this. And this does not have any friction because there's only this friction and this friction. These books are pretty smooth and even a very rough surface book will still won't be able to. So I'm gonna put it up to here. And then it, as you can see, it's very easy to just pull this book away. It's very easy. Let's, let's have some friction in. No, no, it's almost, as you can see. This is, now this is just watch what happen right after. I finished with their book. Um, so after I 
put the book together. As you can see, the first try I put it really easy, but now all the pages are like intact with many. So, okay, this is very, this is very hard to pull out because all the friction is all compressed and that makes it really hard to slide, just like the rice in the bottle one. So, it is, this is incredibly hard. It's possible, but it is hard. And I can't do it. Even my dad can't even do it. It's that hard. This is how the power books. Yeah. And open it, you can just open these two flaps and then it'll come out magically. So this is book version. And now let's try. Surface, the, the, the surface sticks. But this I only like a wooden slide, so let's get one right now. We're gonna be sliding three objects here. Yeah, three. First is glassy. It's glass. Second is rubber. Third is paper. This is, like a, this is, this is actually. I'm gonna use a razor. A razor, except covered in paper. First is the paper. I also have these so I can mark where they stop. So I'll just get the first one done. That's a that's pretty good one. Just mark this one right there. Paper. Paper right there. Right there. Now, now we're gonna be doing rubber. Number three, two, one. Oh, it's Turn it on. Get it here. Now it's the legs. Glass, that's the legs. Wow, that's too far. Let's just do that again. That hit. That hit the camera. There's a bit of glass like right here. So you can see it, the glass is the closest. Okay, so now what do you think? Now what do you think? Push paper. Oh, there it is. So, um, now what do you think is the, um, the, the highest friction and the lowest friction. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to solve. What is the highest friction? And what is the lowest friction? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one hour. So, I hope you got this correct. Or right, good job, let's say. Rubber has the highest friction because it did not slide down here. And the second and the lowest is glass because it came the most close to the camera. And paper is, the, is in the middle. It's, it's the middle from glass and rubber. So, yeah, now let's, now, now, can you guess what is, is it gonna be in order? Do you know how to put this in order? I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ba bomb Now, I, now, the paper goes in the middle, as we said. Next, the glass is gonna go right here because it's the lowest. And then the the rubber is the highest friction, so it will go here. This is the order of what we have found today. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is all my experiments. So thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.
to explain about a car, tires, and how to buy the shape of that. So first let's talk about the tires. So what makes a tire move? Friction. And if, if I give an example that one the you have might seen many movies or many scenes, or you might have also experienced experience it that when the car accidentally when the tires goes in mud and you try to uh, drive it forward, yeah. it can't really go forward because there's no friction in mud. So it can't go forward. But in road there's really high friction and that's what and that's what makes the tires go. And, and, that, and that makes the force go this way, but the friction goes in the opposite direction. So it gives the force to rotate. And, the, and how and how much a sneaker doesn't really matter for the car. It kind of does, but the size, the length, the size. The, the more size, the more friction it has. So, and when a car stops, it needs brakes. And that's where the main friction comes in. And when you stop a car, it needs friction to stop the car from moving more forward. And there's, there's very high friction in that time because if there's very low friction, it might go forward and might crash. That's the main reason why friction is there for the tires. Now let's talk about the shape. The shape of the car is shaped in this way. So then the air doesn't have to go in the car so much. This how the car is shaped, the air will go in that way. But it depends how the car is shaped. The car is shaped slanted, like the window slanted, because to have better aerodynamics. Because if there's very, very less um, air friction or aerodynamics, then um, the car can go high speed, but for that it also needs very high friction. Let's talk about a race car. Um, let's go for example an F1 car. It goes really high speed in races. So, and the tires are like bigger than that, so big chunks. And they use that, so then they can have more friction. But then how the car is shaped is really weird, so that it can have very less friction less aerodynamics which is air friction basically um yeah this is basically the main part about tire about the car friction and one more thing what about trucks these cars are low and that's why it needs high friction to move the car of course but in a truck there's bigger wheels there's more tires and there's ooh, 10 times more weight than on the car. It's, it is because the truck carries load like materials or maybe some animals, etc. Et and then they, and they have more tires and they're bigger tires, so then they, they can have more force to push the truck forward in, in some speed. And if there's very less tires, it'll be going very slow. And if you take, if you take this tire and you place it in a, in a truck tire, it's not going to fit because truck needs huge tires to make it move. And that's basically what a car needs to move, friction.